overall. They're eight and one in the swag. And so the first pitch of the game has a rifle shot to right field and deep and gone. And that is the third consecutive game that the first pitch from a Mississippi State pitcher has landed in right field. Well, the wind is blowing out to left today. That ball didn't even have any help from the wind. It was hit under it, just on a line getting out of the park. Then Saturday it was Nate Dome, and here on Tuesday, Parker's to net. Swing and a miss by hits in that game. Here's a one-two. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. And line drive into left field. Hung that breaking ball, and Buford yanks it into left field. Night out in left field. Throw to first, and they got him picked off. Buford wandering off the bag just a step too far. And that pitch is down, and that's ball four, and a leadoff. You'd expect the Bulldogs, as they get base runners, to run a lot here today, and now they get another base runner. Lined in the left field, and that's a base hit. That will drive home a pair as Kellen Clark and Amani Larry will score a two-run single for Colton Ledbetter. John Harden, runner goes, and there's a fly ball lifted into deep right field and hit well, and that ball is out of here. A two-run home run for Hunter Hines, his 12th home run of the season, and Mississippi State has a 4-0 lead. Nice approach by that. By Hines that time, just waited on the pitch. Ripped in the left field, but right at the left fielder and Hatton there to haul it in. And the 3-1 is low, and that's the third walk of the inning by Ja'Cory Boudreau. Runner at first, one down, throw in that direction. Bounced over there, and they throw it away. And Luke Hancock going to try to get to third. And here's a throw, and it's not in time, and Hancock. And the 3-1 is low, and that's the third. And the 3-1 is low, and that's the third walk of the inning by Ja'Cory Boudreau. Here's the 0-2. Lined in the left field, and that's a base hit. Slade Arford with the RBI single, and Mississippi State leads 5-1. Here's a 2-2. In the left field and right at hat. He's there to make the catch. And now two outs in the inning. It's Forsyth. Fly ball lifted into deep left center field and struck well. And high field drives one out of here for a two run home run for Ross. That's his fifth of the season. And State has hit through the order in the first and leads seven to one. Well, Highfield lost his bat on the first wing. He loses a ball with the next one. That ball got what? And that ball ripped into right field, a single by Kellum Clark. Obviously, Bart, you know, the runs are important. Mississippi State will see this weekend. Pitch is down, and Clark going to try to get to second, and he will. Murphy did a good job behind the plate of blocking it up. Back up the middle and in the center field. And coming around to score is Kellum Clark, and it's an eight-run box. Now Martinez in the game. Down the left field line. That ball is slicing. Could be trouble, and it's a fair ball. Amani Larry will round third. He will come around, and he will score. And Mississippi State has a nine-run and that one gets past the catcher and back to the screen. And that ball smoked in the center field, and that's an RBI single. So Hunter Hines with two hits in the inning. One a back up the middle, past the second baseman into center field. Hunter Hines on his way to third. And Dakota Jordan hits it hard right back up the middle. State has nine hits in the inning. Runner leaves from first, and there's a strike call. And off the shin guard of the catcher, and a wild pitch. And Hunter Hines scores the 2-2. Into left field, and ranging over is Hatton, and he's on the track, and he reaches up, and he makes the catch. 
and that will end the inning. But the ball, Keelan Mack at the plate. That ball smoked in the right center field. Hit well, and that ball is gone. Whoa. A missile by Keelan Mack. And the second home run of the day for Grambling State. And it's 11-2. Back up the middle, shortstop Forsyth gets to it, throws the first, nice stretch by Hancock. Out to Hoyle, the second baseman. And he flips it over to first, four to three on the put out. Vargas hit it hard job blocking and receiving this past weekend. Swing and a miss and a strikeout for Hart. Oh. Oh. Second row of the left field lounge. Got under that one though. First baseman Keelan Mack calling for it in fair territory makes the catch and that's out number one. Smoked in the right field and it gets past the right fielder Frederick. That ball had a lot of top spin to it. Rounding third is Forsyth. He'll come in to score. We'll see how they score that, but that is a and I love the dill pickle. Pitch down and away. And that's a walk to Hoyle. Big day. 3-2, way outside, and that's ball four, and the bases are loaded. Into right field, that ball hit well. And that will drive home a pair. As coming around to score, Kellum Clark and Will Hoyle. There they go. And a pitch clock violation. You saw the home. ball called. The converse can happen. You can see strikes called. And that's a bases loaded walk and an RBI from. There's a shot into left field. Back goes the left fielder, and it's a grand slam for Slade Alford. His fifth home run of the season. It's 19 to two. Wow. Through another breaking ball. Two. And another pitch outside and back to back walks by Tyler Davis to start the four. And a fly ball lifted into center field. High Zach right there. And he'll make the catch. And that's out number one. Hard hit ball through the right side and that's a base hit. They'll stop the runner at third. As the throw comes in from Von Siebert. And a foul tip and Highfield holds it. Bases are loaded. In the air in the shallow left field. And Dakota Jordan ranging in. He is there to make the catch. And that will end the inning. So 3-1, chop left side. Shortstop backs up on it. Guichard, long throw across, and not in time. Into center field, ranging back, still going back, and making the catch is Burrell, the center fielder, for out number one of the fourth. Rips that one into right center field and struck well. In the gap out there. And a run will round third and come in. Aaron Downs scores the 20th run of the night. And Nate Chester first pitch swinging. Out into shallow left field. Ranging in and making the catch is Hatton. Pulls it right to the third baseman, Buford. Steps and throws the airmail. It'll get away, and the runner will stop at third base. And pull through the right side. That's another base hit. Hubbard with his first Bulldog hit, and it drives in a run. An RBI single for Bryce Hubbard. 
High chop, second baseman out, fields, throws, bang, bang, and out. Nice job by 0-2, swing and a miss and a strikeout. Knocked down by Hubbard, picks it up, throws down the first, in time, and another strikeout. Him to round out the year, 3-1. There's a two-out walk issued by Will Gibbs. Full miss. Breaking ball out to the shortstop. Mershon, underhand toss, and that will do it. And Mississippi State wins it 21-2 over the Grambling State Tigers. Well, Bulldogs.